right, so this is Transline by Michael McGill. I suggest you get that translation yourself. Uh, you might need to get it from a website because that's kind of where I got mine from a website. Uh, anyway, notice here in, he says in footnote 4 to see Matthew chapter 8 verse 2 on Lord. And that's what we're going to do. We see that it's translated as master in, cha in Matthew chapter 8 verse 2. Concerning Curios, he says the word is used 717 times, mostly as Lord, referring to the Father or to the Son of God. It is also used as master or owner as opposed to a slave or possession. It is used as a term of respect, sir, to a husband, a father, Paul and Celius, a governor official, the emperor, and an angel. So we see that the word Curios is used not only of the father and son, but also of many others. In Acts chapter 2, verse 34 through 36, we have, it says, For David did not ascend into the heavens, but he himself says, quoting Psalm 10, verse 1, Yehveh says, Laduni, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. So, notice that the first one is Yehveh. The next one is Adon. Then we have verse 36. Therefore let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Yeshua whom you crucified. Now notice he doesn't say the Father. He says God. Whoever God is, whatever God consists of, God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Yeshua whom you crucified. So we see after quoting Psalm 110 verse 1, then he says that God has made him both Lord and Messiah. So we see that Yeshua is Lord as in Adon, not Lord as in Yehveh. In Matthew chapter 27 verse 43 it says, He trusts in God, let God deliver him now if he wants to, for he said, I am God's son. Now, notice that in John chapter 11, Martha says in verse 22, But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of Him. So notice that God is a Him, not a they, not a them. And in, yet in verse 27 she says, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. Now notice, even though she believes that he is the Son of God, she does not believe him to be God himself, as she says in verse 22, I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. In Romans chapter 10 verse 9, we see it says, Because if you confess with your lips the Lord Yeshua, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So notice what you got to believe. You got to believe the Lord Yeshua was the one who God raised from the dead. The Lord Yeshua was dead. It would be utter blasphemy to suggest that Yehveh was dead. Rather, the Lord Yeshua, the Adon Yeshua was dead and God raised him from the dead. Likewise, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20, now may the God of peace who brought back from the dead our Lord Yeshua. And Revelation chapter 17 verse 14 and Revelation chapter 19 verse 16 we see a title given to Yeshua, Lord of Lords. This also identifies what kind of Lord he is. Not only is it a identification of who he is, for he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings, and the name inscribed to him, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. See, so this is a identification of who he is. Lord of Lords. Shall we then say it means Yehveh of Yehveh's? Or in other words, for the more common mistranslation, Jehovah of Jehovah's? Is there indeed more than one Jehovah? 
You see, this identifies what kind of Lord he is. Not many seem to recognize this. So no, he is not Lord as in Yehveh, right there. Rather, he is Lord as in Adon.